we've seen that the parasympathetic nervous system stimulates the gastrointestinal tract and it's the parasympathetic nervous system which was responsible for defecation so sympathetic stimulation will reduce defecation parasympathetic activity will increase defecation and it's the same with urination we've seen that sympathetic activity will reduce the volumes of urine being produced and parasympathetic activity will increase the volumes of urine being produced and it's the same with the voiding of urine retention of urine is a sympathetic activity passing of urine is a parasympathetic activity and yet people in extreme situations when their life is in danger in a combat situation for example frequently will urinate involuntarily and may defecate in an involuntary way as well and this has been documented in numerous very stressful situations so why in these extreme situations does the exact opposite of what the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system happen well throughout your brain you've got an emotional center of your brain emotional centers in your brain called your limbic system this is the emotional brain and this communicates with an autonomic part of your brain at the base of the cerebrum called the hypothalamus and when there's an extreme life-threatening situation the emotional part of the brain informs the hypothalamus and what seems to happen is the hypothalamus releases a hormone called corticotrophin releasing factor now for years we've known that this corticotrophin releasing factor stimulates the release of the adrenocorticotrophic hormone from the anterior pituitary gland and this ACTH adrenocorticotrophic hormone stimulates the adrenal cortical stress hormone such as hydrocortisone that's not surprising but recently it's been discovered that this corticotrophin releasing factor will also stimulate the myenteric plexus in the wall of the gastrointestinal tract so in the wall of the gastrointestinal tract there's networks of millions of nerve cells probably billions huge amounts of nerve cells making up this myenteric plexus and what seems to happen in these extreme situations is the corticotrophin releasing factor stimulates that part of the or stimulates these nerves that are inside the gut and causes loss of control of the bowel and involuntary defecation and likewise it seems like there's the same sort of network of nerves in the urinary tract and again the corticotrophin releasing factor will stimulate those leading to urination now quite what the survival advantage of this is is slightly more difficult to say it means you're not carrying the weight of the urine and feces around when you're in a fight or flight situation and it may also make you less attractive to a predator but it remains that it's the opposite from what you'd expect with a sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and physiologically this is the current theory of how this is explained the corticotrophin releasing factor activating the bowel activating the bladder causing involuntary defecation and involuntary passage of urine